Welcome to Water Level. Today, we're looking closely at the latest numbers for Lake Powell and Lake Mead, two of the most critical water reservoirs along the Colorado River. As of September 17, 2025, Lake Powell's water level sits at 3,546.15 feet above sea level. That is almost 154 feet below its full pool elevation of 3,700 feet. In comparison to the same period in 2024, Powell's waterline is significantly lower. Last year in mid-September, Powell was hovering closer to the mid-3570s range, meaning this year's level is about 25 to 30 feet lower than where it stood just one year ago. This drop represents not only a short-term seasonal decline, but also highlights the continuing pressure on Powell due to reduced inflows, ongoing drought conditions, and water management decisions. When looking at the year-to-date trend for 2025, Powell began the year slightly above 3570 feet, but the level has been on a steady decline ever since. Through the spring and summer, inflows failed to bring much relief, and while there was a brief bump in late May into June, the reservoir quickly resumed its downward trajectory. The 2024 chart shows a much healthier rise during the spring runoff, where Powell briefly peaked above 3585 feet before slowly tapering down. That means Powell saw about 40 feet of seasonal improvement in 2024, compared to a much weaker recovery this year. By September of 2024, Powell was still holding in the 3570s, while now it has dipped to the mid-3540s, which is among its lowest late summer readings in recent years. Shifting focus to Lake Mead, the story shows both similarities and key differences. As of September 18, 2025, Mead is recorded at 1,056.85 feet above sea level. This is about 172 feet below its full pool of 1,229 feet. In direct comparison to last year, Mead's level in September 2024 was sitting much higher, closer to the mid-1,070s range. That means Mead has lost around 15 to 20 feet of elevation compared to where it stood a year ago. This difference may not sound massive, but when stretched across the vast surface area of Lake Mead, even a few feet represent millions of acre-feet of lost storage. Looking at the seasonal patterns for Lake Mead, 2025 has been a year of slower recovery and less resilience compared to 2024. The graph shows that in early 2025, Mead climbed steadily through the winter and peaked around 1,070 feet in March. However, inflows weakened quickly, and by midsummer, the level slid downward, reaching lows around 1,054 feet in July. Since then, the lake has seen a slight rebound of about 2 feet heading into September, bringing it to the current 1,056.85 mark. Compare that to 2024, where Mead peaked higher and held stronger throughout the spring and summer before easing downward. Last year's September levels were still above 1,070 feet, highlighting how much stronger conditions were just one year ago. The contrast between Powell and Mead tells us an important story about the balance of water management on the Colorado River. Powell has experienced a sharper and more sustained decline this year, with levels nearly 30 feet lower than last year at this time. Mead, on the other hand, has also declined compared to 2024, but by a smaller margin of about 15 feet. This suggests that operations at Glen Canyon Dam and Hoover Dam, combined with upstream and downstream demands, are affecting each reservoir differently. Powell, being upstream, has carried more of the reduction burden, which is visible in its steeper drop relative to last year's conditions. Another point of concern is the rate of daily change. At Lake Powell, the latest measurement shows a drop of 0.07 feet in just one day. That may sound small, but over the course of a month, it can amount to over two feet of decline if the trend continues. Meanwhile, at Lake Mead, the most recent data shows a tiny rise of 0.01 feet from the previous day. This suggests that for now, Mead is at least holding steady or seeing slight gains, while Powell continues to slip further down. Such a divergence underscores how management decisions and natural inflows are currently favoring storage at Mead more than Powell.
When comparing the broader picture of 2025 to 2024, one of the starkest differences is seen during the spring runoff season. In 2024, both reservoirs benefited from strong snowpack, with Powell climbing nearly 40 feet between April and June and Mead rising steadily through March into April. In contrast, 2025 saw much weaker runoff, with Powell only gaining a few feet before losing ground again and Mead's seasonal boost being far less impressive. This weaker runoff has left both lakes entering the late summer months at much lower elevations than where they were at the same point last year. If we zoom out to the long-term implications, these lower 2025 levels are not just statistics, they directly affect hydroelectric power production, recreation, and water delivery to millions of people. At Powell, lower levels mean less capacity to generate power at Glen Canyon Dam, which supplies electricity across the region. At Mead, the concern is water delivery downstream to states like Arizona, Nevada, California, and even into Mexico. Each foot lost reduces the operational flexibility of the system and brings the reservoirs closer to critical shortage thresholds. The comparison between 2024 and 2025 also demonstrates how volatile these reservoirs are under demand pressures. A single strong runoff year like 2024 can bring temporary relief, but one weaker year, such as 2025, can erase much of that progress. Powell's nearly 30-foot year-over-year loss highlights just how fragile the system is. Even Mead, which is currently performing relatively better, has still lost around 15 feet year over year, showing that both reservoirs are far from stable. In conclusion, as of September 2025, Lake Powell stands at 3,546.15 feet, nearly 154 feet below full pool, and about 30 feet lower than last year. Mead sits at 1,056.85 feet, roughly 172 feet below full pool, and about 15 feet lower than in September 2024. Powell is showing sharper declines and more vulnerability this year, while Mead has managed small gains recently but still remains well below last year's levels. Together, the data makes it clear that 2025 has been a weaker year for water storage in the Colorado River system compared to 2024, and both reservoirs remain under significant stress as we move into the final months of the year. That wraps up today's update on Lake Powell and Lake Mead. Both reservoirs continue to show signs of stress compared to last year, with Powell sitting nearly 30 feet lower than September 2024 and Mead about 15 feet lower. These numbers highlight just how fragile the Colorado River system has become and how quickly gains from a strong runoff year can be erased. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to stay tuned for future updates as we continue to track these critical water levels day by day.